Hello, everyone. It's Charlton. All right. So, um, pretty, pretty stunning turn of events that the all charges, the case against Jussie Smollett, you know, by the Chicago, Chicago Police Department, are going to be dropped. You know, and uh, there's a little bit um, mixed signals here. But uh, the, his attorneys have put out a statement. Here he is. There was an emergency court hearing, uh, you know, for today for some reason, I guess, to announce this. Initially, I thought it involved Mark Garagos, being that Mark Garagos is one of his counsel, as I understand it. And, um, you know, he himself has been named, the, or media reports have named him the co-conspirator in the extortion case or charges against Michael Avenatti that were announced yesterday involving Nike and uh, CNN had dropped him as a paid contributor or commentator or whatever. So, um, you know, I thought maybe that it was in relation to that, but it doesn't seem to be. So it's pretty uh, pretty stunning that the Chicago Police Department or the prosecutors have, are going to fully drop all the charges. Now, TMZ said that mentions community service here a little bit. So, but the, um, you know, I mean, that is the headline. He's going to speak, uh, or him or his attorneys are going to speak after court. He's in court right now. This is him walking into court seemingly quite happy, you know, and, um, Another one down here. Jesse, anything you want to say? So, you know, he seems pretty plain there. I don't know if I would call him happy. Somebody in their tweet had mentioned that he looked real confident. Anyways, so, but, you know, by all accounts, the prosecution is dropping all the charges. Jesse Smollett, criminal case dropped. Jesse Smollett will not be prosecuted for allegedly fake, uh, for allegedly faking a racial attack because all charges have been dropped. Jesse and his lawyers ran to court Tuesday morning in Chicago where he was facing 16 felony counts of lying to police in the alleged racial and homophobic attack. Jussie will surrender his $10,000 bond. We're told he has agreed to perform community service, but that's it. The case is over. So um, so according to TMZ, he has agreed to perform conservative uh, community service. However, the the you know the statement put out, put out by attorneys, and, I, and they're saying he's going to, you know, his attorneys and maybe himself are going to make a statement to the press following his court appearance you know, um, doesn't really kind of acknowledge the uh, community service or acknowledge that um, that it was fake. You know, it kind of, I mean, from the way I read it, Jussie's lawyers say, today all criminal charges against Jussie Smart were dropped and his record has been wiped clean of the filing of this tragic complaint against him. Jussie was attacked by two people he was unable to identify on January 29th. He was a victim who was vilified and made to appear as a perpetrator as a result of, of false and inappropriate remarks made to the public, causing an inappropriate rushed judgment. The lawyers go on, Jussie and many others were hurt by these unfair and unwarranted actions. This entire situation is a reminder that there should never be an attempt to prove a case in the court of public opinion. That is wrong. A source close to Jussie says prosecutor's case disintegrated, as we reported, there was issue of the $3,500 check the two brothers received from, from Jesse. The police superintendent had said the money pay, uh, was payment for the fake attack, but it appears it was actually for physical training. There was some dispute about that. It was you know, written in the memo, and obviously Jesse Small claims that it was for physical training. And I believe in the grand jury, which seemed to fall apart in testimony to the grand jury, the two brothers um, ran into a roadblock there, and they basically st halted the grand jury proceedings. The prosecutor did and basically just filed charges on his own without a grand jury because of – 
their testimony regarding the $3,500 check. And I think, you know, they said it was for training. It was like a five or six week training program. I don't know how many weeks they were into that. And there were some texts between him and one of the brothers, I forget which one, about that. You know, like saying, you know, make, I think from from the brother to Jesse Smollett saying, you know, make sure you do your, your cardio or how's your cardio going, whatever. But um, so that was, you know, that was one point that I think his defense team was going to use uh, if it actually went to court. But it also goes on to say the police superintendent also said during a news conference that Jesse wrote that threat, that threatening letter six days before the attack, when in actuality, the FBI had not concluded who wrote the letter. So that was also a problem, I think, for prosecutors, whatever. They've dropped all 16 counts of, uh, you know, felony counts against him. The case has been dropped against him. Pretty, pretty remarkable, you know. Considering, uh, you know, how, 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 how hot this has, had gotten, you know, uh, Jesse uh, Small and his lawyers were expected to speak after the emergency hearing, which is, is ongoing right now. There's like a microphone set up and he's going to talk, I guess. And both Gary Gares and his firm declined comments to NBC News. Now that, that's actually in reference to Small. It's, Attorney Mark Aragos was recently identified as a co-conspirator in an extortion complaint against Michael Avenatti, according to sources familiar to the case. Both Garagos and his firm declined to comment to NBC News about that, about being named or identified as the co-conspirator in the extortion case against Michael Avenatti. And he wasn't charged. Mark Garagos was not. He just was, you know, CNN cut ties with him, and that's sort of where we, we haven't really heard from him, I don't think, on that. Small pleaded not guilty in multiple disorderly conduct charges earlier this month. He was granted permission to travel to New York and California. Etc. Etc. cetera, et cetera. All right. Well, that is, uh, you know, that is the story there, man. I don't think he's, uh, you know, making a statement yet, but, um, you know, I don't think he's out of court yet, but he will be momentarily. And I sure, you know, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if he had someone pull some strings for him or if that basically the case really did fall apart or what, man. But that is the story there. Thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. All right. And give me a like down below. See you in the next video. Later, man.